High school football is nothing without rivalries, and this week our game of the week is a good one between the Bel Air Highlanders and the Eastwood Troopers. Both teams are undefeated to start the season. ABC 7's Adrian Ochoa has more on this year's Battle of the Helmet. It's a rivalry that goes back generations. Two schools on the opposite sides of the I-10, united by this, a helmet. Eastwood on one side, Baller on the other. Today, there are two helmets that sit in the main hallway of last year's winner, the Eastwood Troopers. It's been here and it's going to stay here. Been here since we've been here, so it's going to stay one more year. But for the Baller Highlanders, who haven't beaten the Troopers in quite some time, the goal this Friday is simple. We're going to try and get the helmet back where it, where, it, where it needs to be. I feel like this is the year that we get it back. This year's Battle of the Helmet is for more than just bragging rights. It's about momentum. Both teams are coming in 2-0. and The last time they met with both squads undefeated was back in 1983. Around our school and I'm sure around their school and community, uh, it's a big game. We're going to have a lot of people in the stands. We're excited. The Ballard defense is tough. They shut out Austin and allowed only seven points against Andres. But they'll be tested by the high-powered trooper offense, led by quarterback Mark Torres and wide receiver Richie Rodriguez, who've already connected for seven touchdowns this season. But we know it's going to be a tough team that we're having. It's going to be a, a heated game because it's just a rivalry and a big, a big crowd. If we stop the big plays and cut off Richie, then I feel like we should be good and we should come out with the win. We're just going to get out, try to play our game, try to control and run our offense and see where it goes. Bel Air head coach Tony Cervantes is also ready and it's a rivalry he's very familiar with. He played for Bel Air in the early 80s when the games were played in front of a packed symbol. It's just a real intense game and it was fun for the fans, fun for the, you know, for the schools and fun for the community. The biggest thing is, and I told these guys, in a rivalry game, you got to understand it means a lot to a lot of people. And for the excitement to be built up for the game again, and to have both teams 2-0 and and both programs on the rise, for all that to be in place, I think creates an exciting environment that our kids will, will enjoy. And as an Eastwood grad, it's a rivalry I've seen up close, so I know just how electric the atmosphere will be. From the fans to the band, the cheerleaders, it's going to be very interesting to see how it all plays out Friday night here at Trooper Stadium. For ABC7 Sports, I'm Adrian Ochoa. Thank you, Adrian. By the way, Eastwood leads the series 23-22 to all time, so the Highlanders could tie it all up tomorrow. On